the tedious and enormously challenging journey for 20 years, the Maya Nuksha Award trustees have left indelible mark in history. The trust has honored and decorated almost a hundred of learners with awards of excellence in academia, an achievement which deserves to be applauded by one and all. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big hand to the Mayanucha Award trustees. May I request the trustees, wherever you are, to stand once. This year, the Mayanucha Award Trust has taken an extra step to shift its award presentation venue to the state's capital, Kohima, for good reasons. So this is the 20th Mayanucha Awards presentation program. Respected Chief Guest, Mr. C.M. Chang, Minister for School Education, Nagaland, invitees, award recipients, parents and family members, program participants, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you all this, to this award presentation program on behalf of the Mayanacha Award. I started my class from seven Eight, nine, ten. I was there for four years, and he was so kind to all the students when he was still in class, class nine and ten. I feel myself proud that God has given a golden opportunity for me to be the chief case for me to remember our principal and the achievements he has made in Naga context. And this is something uh, wonderful that God has given time to me. This is how I perceive feel. As we all know, an award is something given to a person or a group of people to recognize the excellency in certain field. My Nuksha Award Trust is one of such trusts in the state of Nagaland. And I believe every Nagas recognizes his achievements. I've spoken at workshop when I was made as the chief case in the mods uh, functions. And among 16 Naga tribes in 1872, God chosen our tribe to spread the God's message. The first Christianity came to Nagaland through our tribe. That's how the Christianity was spread in Nagaland. And I think mostly it was through the our tribe that it is spread in Nagaland and other parts of the uh, country. And when we see the history. God has given wisdom to our tribe and because of God's places, God has given the first chief minister to our tribe to be the chief minister in Nagali and the Egyptian what in the Egyptian field, what led by Nuksha has done. So many educated people came, especially in our communities. These are all God's blessings. My Nuksha World Trust is, as I said, one of such interested to our excellencies. And the founder members 
who started this, how God has given wisdom to them to start and to remember the father of our state in education, in the field of education. These are indeed many examples to prove that the qualities found in a grown up man may be found in germ in the child. Children who had shown great promise sometimes turn out to be a failure as an adult when the children in the study they've shown very good talents but when a person becomes adult when they become grown up these talents goes and changes i think this is something which we people should understand as the saying says morning shows the day when starting you have shown the good thing why you cannot be in the, in the good uh, position however generally we can presume that the child shows what the men or women would be just as in case of today's award recipients since it is generally true that men grows up to be what he is as a child, there is a need for training, recognition, encouragement, and honoring our children in the right way as is done here today. For we understand that what the child is indicates what the man will be. So also is the future of the next generation lies with these young and bright students. This is a profound truth, and not just a mere analogy. We shall now begin the presentation of awards with the subject drivers. The first is the Education Forum of Mokokjo E4 Award for Mathematics. This year, the award goes to Miss Ledina Longkama from Little Flower Higher Secondary School, Kohima. Miss Ledina has scored 100 out of 100 marks in mathematics and was positioned 30th in the overall ranking with 92.66%. The award carries a certificate of merit, rupees 5,000 cash and a memento. Ms. Nenina will now deliver the accepted speech. Good afternoon to you all. It is an honor to stand here before all of you today. I thank the Almighty God for blessing me with this opportunity. It is only by His grace and mercy upon me that I am here today. I thank my parents for always supporting me and having belief in me that I can do it. I thank the Mayamocha Award Trust Education Forum of Mokokjo for sponsoring this award. Encouraging one's hard work by sponsoring this award and program is the best encouragement one could give. It will push us to do better and make us realize that this isn't the end of the road. I would like to conclude my speech by leaving this thought, faith in the Lord can work miracles. Thank you once again. Thank you. Ms. Lendina attributes her success to hard work and faith in God. The second award is the Tia Yim Yim Daily Award for Topper in Science. This year, the Tia Yim Yim Award is backed by Mr. Verrezo Vigilius Vizo from Holy Cross Higher Secondary School, Dimapur. Verrezo has scored 100 out of 100 marks in science and was positioned 23rd in the overall ranking with 91.33%. A certificate of merit and rupees 5000 and a memento. Mr. Marezo will now give the acceptance of speech. 
Respected Chief Guest, Honorable Minister of School Education, President of Mai Nocha Award Trust, Chairman of Nakalan Board of School Education, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, and Dear Friends, I think the I take this opportunity to thank the esteemed members of my Nakja Award Trust for giving me this prestigious award. I thank the Almighty God, my parents, and my teachers for helping me in my studies. This award is a great encouragement to me, and it is very significant as it is crossing cultural and tribal barriers. The present younger generation is willing to do away with tribalism and backwardness, and I will try my best to study hard and bring about social, cultural, and economic development all over Nagaland. Please continue to pray for me. Thank you. Thank you, Very soon as a student at Science College, Kohima. The third is the Youth Resources and Sports Department Award for Topper in Social Science. This year, the YRSD Award goes to Ms. Mejusenio Masi from Baptist High, Bohemia. Ms. Major Seno has scored 96 marks to back this award. She was ranked 8th in the overall rankings and with 93.66 percent. The award carries a certificate of merit, rupees 5,000 cash, and a memento. The recipient will now give the acceptance speech. A very good afternoon to you all. First of all, I'd like to thank God for everything because only through Him are all things possible. And I'd like to thank my parents because it is, it is true that indeed only because of their prayers, their support and their guidance are we able to succeed. I'd like to thank, last but not least, the Magnucha Award Trust and the Youth Resources and Sports Department of Nagaland for giving me this award. It is very encouraging indeed for us students and I hope that you will continue to pray and encourage us in the near future. Thank you so much and have a blessed time ahead. Thank you. Presently a student of Kohima Science College, she desires to become a surgeon. The fourth and the fifth awards are backed by one person. The fourth is the Rockdale Club of Mokokcho Award for Topper in AO, that is M-I-L. And the fifth is the North East Sun Award for Topper in English Subject. Both these language subject awards have gone to Ms. Yashiyala T. Imchen from Edith Douglas Higher Secondary School, Mokokcho. Ms. Yashiyala has scored 89 marks in AO and 79 marks in English and was positioned 21st in the overall rankings with 91.66. Both the awards carry a certificate of merit and cash award of 5,000 rupees each and memento each. Also carries a certificate of merit, rupees 5,000 and memento. Ms. Yashiyala will now give the acceptance speech. Uh, firstly, I thank God for giving, uh, blessing me so much, and because without this, without His help, all this would never have been possible. I also thank uh, the president and all the members of the Mamukcha Award Trust for presenting me this, presenting me this beautiful uh, memento and the cert certificates. I also thank uh, Rockdale Club of Mamukcha and the Nordis Magazine New Delhi for sponsoring these awards. Uh, I'd also like to thank my parents and my English teacher, Sir Sentimaran, and my AO teacher, Mem Timsela, for constantly guiding me and supporting me. Thank you all once again and have a nice day. Thank you. Ms. Yashiyama is now a student of Pranam Vidyapith Higher Secondary School, Dimapur, daughter of Dr. A. Takatamsa Imchen and Narana Langjar. She aims to become a physician. According to her, hard work and faith in God have been the secrets of her success. The last and the biggest award is the Mayamancha Award for Academic Excellence for the overall topper. This year, this prestigious award is backed by Ms. Kalibo Jakalu from St. Paul Higher Secondary School, Dimapur. 
Miss Kalibo Jekhala. Miss Kalibo has scored an overall percentage of 95.83 and was positioned second in the overall the distinction in all subjects. The award carries the Certificate of Merit, a cash award of at least 20,000 and a memento to cherish and remind her of her achievement. Ms. Kalibo will now deliver the acceptance speech. A very good morning to all. Respected Chair Lady, President, Board of Trustee of Mayangnokcha Award Trust, Honorable Chief Guest, Teachers, Dignitaries, Parents, and Friends. First of all, I would like to say thank you to my Nocha Award Trust for presenting me with this prestigious award. This accomplishment is not only by me alone, but there is my team member behind this. And the team member that I'm talking about are God, my teachers from St. Paul High Secondary School, Dimapur, my parents and well-wishers. Allow me to take this opportunity to acknowledge the contribution for achieving this goal. I achieved this goal mainly because of my faith in God, hard work, and perseverance. And my message to all the students is that we can all achieve success if we believe and pray. People achieving success shows that we can achieve success like them too. We should not only believe, but we should also work hard, pray, so that we can believe what we can achieve because ultimately, hard work pays off at the end. Thank you. Ms. Kalibo, daughter of Engineer Shikato and Tokeli Sema. Participants and students are standing back for this. You are permitted to introduce your first yeah. From Dear Imam, Rock Daily, if you are here. Yeah. Uh, Master's father. Um, two things. One is uh, to perpetuate the memory of Dambu Mayanokcha, who was the uh, forerunner of educationists of Nagaland. Mayanokcha was a person who really he sacrifices time for the enlightenment of uh, the minds of the Nagas. So that is one thing we want to give honor to him and uh, to perpetuate. 
uh, his memory uh, with us, one thing. Secondly, because he has sacrificed his time for the course of education, we wanted to do something uh, you know, which is appropriate to his mission and vision in life. And we thought that uh, it, is, it is going to be very suitable if we can do something for the uh, development and the progress of our pursuit of education uh, in the Naga Society. So this uh, award is one of our major activities. His students, uh, some of them are still alive and they have made a lot of uh, financial contribution towards the formation of this and uh, we owe a lot of, uh, you know, uh, thanks to them. Right, but mm. Can you tell us more about the uh, trustees and, uh, you know, like you are from different backgrounds, right? Yes, uh, we are from different backgrounds. Uh, some of them are uh, uh, doctors, some of them are engineers and then some of them are teachers and uh, you know, uh, from different background. Um, we have the uh, same vision, we have same commitment for the course of uh, education amongst Nagas. I would like to say that you have to have faith in God, believe in God and pray. And you should also work hard and have, uh, you should also work hard and have confidence in yourself. How has it been over the last 20 years, you know, I mean, uh, ups and downs maybe? Or is yes, uh, 20 years ago, you know, we were all young people. Uh, two of us, late, twi uh, late uh, 20s, most of them early 20s, just starting our careers. And uh, we dreamed big. And in a way, we thought it was beyond us. But we had the inspiration from my own Oksha and the courage from God. And uh, we were a very compact team. We knew each other very well and we worked very well as a team. So that was the good factor. Otherwise, financially, we struggled. I uh, know, I mean, uh, we were all young officers, many of them. Uh, yeah, and so financially, we struggled, but so with God's you, blessing, uh, I think we carried it on. Carry on financially, how do you carry on? Financially, we don't depend on, the, uh, we don't go canvassing for funds. But we have made a commitment that this will be our, one of our philanthropic works. So every year we contribute ourselves among us. We had nine of us in the members. We, we have to start the mat, uh, to start the mat, we had contributed, uh, made a compulsory contribution, initial contribution as membership fees. And then every year we contribute. And of course, we also know that if we don't have enough, it will be us who will have to bear the cost. So we have been doing it ourselves. Of course, there have been well-wishers who have come forward to give, uh, but we don't go sourcing for funds. To begin with, we went to, to the, the past students of Mayanosha, whoever we knew. And of course, uh, uh, they help us. They help us. Uh, most of them were retired people, so they help us in a very small way. Financially, not much, but you know they were really behind us. They were really behind us. So, from the past students of Maya Noksha, what we got was first of all encouragements, and of course financial contribution. We 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 are a trustee board, so it is not we we are not taking over. The, we are not here in this position for a term period, you know. But we are life life members. But we do know that very soon we will be old. So even just last night we were talking about it that we need to build up the next generation of leadership from um, for Matt. So that is about Matt member uh, Matt organization. What we are looking at for Matt is apart from giving the ceremonies, uh, the awards, uh, we have already done a, a pilot project on school assessment, which was well received by the schools we assist and by the government. Uh, and actually it was funded by the government and we are hoping that that is one area where Matt can come in to assist the school so that uh, the, there will be quality education in Nagaland. So we are looking forward to that. Yeah. Okay. All the very best. Thank you. Thank you.